r slash ask reddit people who had no sex education at all and had never ever seen the opposite sex's special parts how do you know how sex worked if you did at all and which parts were supposed to go where how did your first time go farm kids learn by example unless exceptionally dense i remember my little sister asking why the bull kept trying to jump over the cows an interesting story from history Mary Antoinette and Louis XVI had a notoriously difficult time conceiving a child. They were married four years before it happened, even though both were seemingly fertile. There are a variety of theories as to why. But one is that they just didn't know what to do. As the story goes. Mary Antoinette's brother finally gave Louis the talk and they were able to conceive. I remember learning from porn that the testicles do not actually go in the vagina. Just glad I got that little tidbit sorted out before my big moment. I had only seen sex on TV. And of course on TV they never show them actually having sex. So I thought people just viciously tore their clothes off and then laying bed naked. Serious reply. I figured it out while shopping for hose connectors at Lowe's with dad when I was maybe 10. I knew little more than boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina or lark in the garden cop. Male and female pieces. The male end goes into the female end. My inner voice goes. Why do they call them male and female? Oh. That makes sense. When I was 16. I was lucky enough to have a girlfriend as inexperienced as I was. All we knew was that we wanted to do naked. Sexy stuff together. It took a few nights. But we figured it out. I was home shoaled. Raised with cattle and fairly conservative Mormon parents who did not acknowledge sex. Having participated in several artificial insemination procedures by the age of 10, I thought for the longest time that pregnancy happened when an illiterate cowboy brought a teeny baby cow and shoved it up the ass of a mama cow. Or when one got married you requested a baby and a cowboy would show up at your door to shove it on up there. Luckily, we got the internet in 1998. And I finally learned that a woman got pregnant when a man with a mustache came on her face. Edit. Wow. Thanks for the awards all. Now my parents will accept me. When I gave my first blowjob I didn't know what coming was or that it was a thing. Eventually I got pretty bored and stopped. So he told me. You're supposed to go until I finish. And I remember thinking that's rude how am I supposed to know when you're finished? He didn't and I learned what he meant about 6 months later lol. I didn't know that I had to be wet. It was a bit awkward when I first decided to do it, but we took it nice and slow, and he was very understanding, until the right day came. We learned in biology how reproductive organs work, but they didn't mention sex. They just spoke about each individually. I learned about sex from porn. I grew up super duper religious. My mom didn't even really explain what my period was. I went to school and they provided information like sex ed and period education. But I never really got it. From the diagrams. I never figured a penis could slash would get hard. So for years I honestly though, that both people would lie on their backs and kinda jenga their genitals together yoga style. But then I was like 14 and I found out that a penis can geo from soft to hard like what the fuck. Is it a solid or a liquid? Turns out if you do it right. It's both. Didn't receive any proper sex ed classes at school or any talks from my parents. I just accidentally stumbled upon porn when I was really young. Like in middle school slash elementary school. And as I got older, I did research on the female vagina. Mainly just studied the diagrams and learned how everything worked. So you can say I self-taught myself. My first time was still pretty bad. But it could be much worse. I grew thinking all humans had penises. Like I was even shown a vagina one time, and I thought they had tucked it in SMH. Edit. Grammar. In my country parents don't really tell kids what sex is. So we just had to fucking discover it ourselves. The first time I heard it was when I was in second grade. About 8 years old and a classmate told me about it, as if it was a groundbreaking discovery. After that things just escalated. When we reached the age of 11 puberty fucking smashed into our sexuality. And to this day I wish my parents had told me what sex was, because oh boy do I cringe at the things I did as a teen. 
Edit. I've already written this in the replies, but since people keep asking for it, I'll write it here. Well it's not really me being super sexual story more like the lack of it. We have a female classmate who was really sexual and dirty she was also probably discovering her sexuality. She was pretty cute, and she would always make dirty jokes at everyone. Male or female. One time she was stroking a water bottle, and told us, that she bets it's something we boys do. And I dead as said what's that? I didn't know you could masturbate at that time I just knew about 6, and everyone looked at me and laughed. And that's how I was known with the nickname Jackolus for a year. Jackal means fap in our dialect, and they're basically calling me fapless, and that friends is why I have social anxiety. Edit 2, I'm from Philippines. Many people have been asking a slightly unrelated story about my friend. I was a year older than her, and told her everything, because I had discovered it just discovered it. At 13. She was stunned. And in complete denial. And was about to go and tell my mom, that I'd told her about sex. She kept saying this is disgusting. My parents could never do that. You're lying. I'm going to throw up. She was literally shaking. And took hours of convincing to get her, to not tell my mom. I went to an ultra religious school. I don't think the word sex was said once in all 12 years of school, except maybe during biology class. My knowledge of sex came from reading. Internet forums were really helpful actually. Even just reading about other people's sex lives. I know that sounds creepy. I watched porn. But I also had read enough to know it was unrealistic. My first time was actually great. It was with my boyfriend. Who I love and trust. We spent a few months without doing piff sex. Just oral and hand stuff. While we learnt each other's bodies better. And until we both felt ready. And when we finally were. It was wonderful. I used to have panic attacks pretty often in the beginning due to trauma, and also the way super religious places fuck up your mindset about sex. And he would just stop, and hold me for, as long as I needed. The first time. He insisted that I be on top, so that I feel in control. And if it hurts, or I'm panicking I can just stop. He is an amazing man. And I'm so glad my first time was with him. When I was a kid. I thought sex was being under the bed sheets naked, and make the bed rock while making noises. I cannot process how that made any sense to me then, but I just accepted that. Stick her with a pointy end. I understood how sex happens at 13 years of age, when a girl whispered it in my ear. That was also the day I realized that I had a vagina. Needless to say, I was stunned. The first time I saw my boyfriend's penis, at 20. I was again quite surprised. I had never watched porn, and had been expecting something entirely different. So, even though I shied away at first, within 24 hours I was pretty pleased with it. First time sex was very painful, way more than expected. But second time was good. My boyfriend knew how things happened, and I was very open about communicating. Honestly, I have had sex maybe three times without orgasm. Oh. And the boyfriend is my husband now. I actually was on the other side. My first boyfriend came from a Catholic school without proper sex education. After I had to explain him that a woman can't get pregnant from petting, as long as no sperm is involved, I prepared a basic lecture about sex. I felt like his teacher. The first sex was acceptable but not good. Even with my sex education. My first time was a little awkward. I grew up without internet, and was home shouldered by my southern grandparents, so sex wasn't taught at all. I had deduced that the vagina was on the front, roughly equal to where the penis is on a male. I also had no clue that female nipples were larger than a male's. My first time was with a woman in her 30s, and I was 17. She basically had to walk me through every step, and had to put up with tons of looking and asking questions. Somewhat related. But the first girl I started doing stuff with made me wear a condom, while giving me a hand job. She made it out, to seem to be the normal thing to do, and I guess it made sense, because it meant cum didn't go flying everywhere. However, it made things really awkward with the next girl I was with, and I pulled out a condom, when she was playing with me. She was like, whoa, I'm not ready to have sex with you yet. And then I explained, that I wasn't trying to mean that. 
she informed me that was a bit weird and it totally killed the mood. OMG it was horrible. I would sincerely feel bad for my first boyfriend. But he was just as horrible back, plus a jerk. I think it was a combination of us not having any idea about sex. Both of our home computers being in common areas. Us being raised Catholics. And him being a jerk and didn't like talking about it, like so many things cold been better if we just talked. First time I stroke his dick, er it was a bit too fast. He of course returned the favor by clawing the inside of my vagina with his freakish long nails. I licked his dick, like legit licked, thinking that was a blowjob, and he just insulted me without telling me how it was supposed to be done, so I think he didn't know either. He pushed himself in hole while I was dry and was confused I hated sex. After several attempts and it's still hurting because I was dry every time. He wanted to do anal to avoid any chance of the birth control and condoms not working. Months of dry all at one shove in dick anal that hurt led to bleeding and diarrhea and gave me PTSD. Towards the end of the relationship I tried begging for him to just stop. I'm pretty sure the horrible sex is why he dumped me. Luckily for me, I discovered sex as soon as we broke up and it had never been painful again. So do your future stupid kids a favor and give them sex education. Exclamation mark.